lovelies, welcome back to my channel to... Why is my boss texting me? Anyway, hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, and today I'm going to be doing the stay home reading tag, which is brought to us by The Reading Rush. So... <laughs> Let's get to the tag. Um, this tag is brought to us by The Reading Rush, which I am participating in this year. Today is the first day that it's happening, um, when I'm filming this, that is. I did do my Reading Rush TBR. Um, it features me frantically trying to find a book with a house on the cover and only minorly being successful. So I'll link that in the little pop-up thingy up here as well as in the description box below. Let's get straight to the tag, shall we? First question, how is your reading going while staying home? Well, <laughs> March was my best reading month by far. I read Let's get the stats. So, March I read a total of 22 books. Um, that was by far my best reading month this year so far. I have not even hit the halfway mark on that yet for this month. Um, so if I'm in a huge reading mood, I've seen that a lot of people are hitting slumps, and fortunately I have not hit that yet. I did come out of a reading slump as soon as this quarantine started, so positives? But, um... I'm in a huge reading mood, it's just that April is my last month at university, so things are coming to a head, and especially with all this online learning, the workload, like, tripled, because now, instead of, you know, doing the work and then going to class, you have to do the work, do something that proves that you did the work, and then do a special project that they tacked on, so I'm not enjoying that part, and it's culminating in a lot of stress and a lot of extra work that I think is unnecessary. So I hope that answers that question. <laughs> question number two, where have you been reading at home? Well, um, mostly in bed. <laughs> uh, I work all day. Sometimes I'm in this room, which is where my desk is, um, starting at nine or 11 in the morning, depending on how that goes. And I'm here until a little bit after dinner. So um, I do have a reading chair in here that I will occasionally read in, but not very often. So mostly it's bed. <laughs> um, if we have a fire going in the living room, which we've been having the last couple nights, you've seen it on my Instagram story, I will definitely be reading there. Um, and then outside, we were blessed with this wonderful, wonderful, warm spring weather that lasted like two weeks. And oh, I was you, I was working outside, I was reading outside, it was beautiful, and now it's freezing. <laughs> so, fire. So any of those three places. Question number three asks, what is the best book that I've read during isolation? So I've read quite a few. I have enjoyed my reread of the Mercy Thompson series, starting with Moon Called. Um, very quickly, this is just an all-encompassing urban fantasy that follows a coyote shifter known as a walker who lives right next door to the alpha of the local werewolf pack. There are vampires, there are fae, there are ghosts, there are demons, there are walkers. Um, it, there's a lot of Native American legends in here. The mystery aspect is very well done. The books get better and better as the series continues. So I've read up to four books in this series so far. I've really enjoyed it. I also highly enjoyed The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. This was just fun. I read it in one sitting, which Trisha writes really light, easy reads. Um, there, it's between two morally gray characters. It was a friends to lovers story. It just made me giddy to read. It was just fun. I wouldn't say it was the best book I read, but it is straight up fun. As far as the best book I've read in isolation, that would definitely have to be Wolf Song by T.J. Klune, which this trilogy just came in the mail today. I read it from my library as an ebook. Absolutely loved it. Couldn't get the next two books, so I ordered all of them. <laughs> and he's a thick boy. I didn't really realize it when I was reading it because I was on the ebook, but these are chunky books. And now that I have all three, I'll see you later, you know? But 
this is gonna end up being one of my favorite books of the year. It's um, between two neighbor boys, one's a little bit older, one's a little bit younger, and it's a friends to lovers slow burn romance. And I thought it was just gonna be really cute. And like, the younger boy is a werewolf, and I knew it was a faded mates, but I, I just kind of thought it was gonna be like a contemporary romance, except one of them's a werewolf. No. This was everything I thought it was. It was absolutely adorable. I fell in love with the characters. But then things took a turn. Things went to hell and it got really, really good. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm definitely going to be rereading this next month. I didn't do a review. I'm not going to do a review of my first read. I was just kind of like in a state of, Ugh. so I don't even know what I would say, but I am going to reread these and talk about them because oh my god another book that is really good that i just have to mention i finished it last night it's called the scorpio races by maggie stiefvater i read this in one sitting and this is also a chunky boy and it just surprised me so much this was on my owls tbr so yay i get to check off one for the owls but really I was terrified going into this because I knew that I needed to read Maggie Stiefvater's backlist, but I wasn't sure I would like it. I was expecting Shiver, if I'm being quite honest, but I loved this so much. Five stars, which if you know me is pretty rare, and wow, it had Maggie's typical writing where it's simple, it's practical, but it's a little bit daring and very lyrical. I loved Puck. I love her relationship with her brother Finn. I loved Sean when I read, oh, but there's a mysterious boy. I was like, yeah, isn't there always? No, this was done well. I have no other words. I don't know how I'm going to write this review. It was so, so good. Question number four asks me what my favorite feel-good book is. I have a whole blog post on this on books that make me feel warm and cozy when I read them. I'm going to link that in the description box below. Um, but really, just generally, I love rom-coms. So it's always, like, good rom-coms are always very, very fun. And um, Urban Fantasy is <laughs> an odd book because there's, I just, I love the snipe and the banter and the teasing. I'm like, oh yeah, skip more. I really like books that are just fun. Those are really good feel-goods for me. So Clean Sweet by Alana Andrews is the one I'm going to talk about right now. Um... This book is pure fun. You you know that I love Ilana Andrews. That's a husband writing duo. I've they're one of the few authors I've met. I got got over them in person. They were definitely a little. They definitely thought it was odd that there was a middle schooler <laughs> at their meet and greet, but I love them. I've always loved them. Clean Sweep is their passion project. So they write this book when they need a break. So Dina is an innkeeper, and that means that all the other creatures, species in the galaxy, when they have to go through Earth, they stay in an inn because the Earth people don't know that the galaxy is full of other things. And so as an innkeeper, she's tasked with keeping this a, their existence a secret when they visit. So she has total control over her, and things can go through the walls, through the floor. When a guest arrives, she's walking them to their room, and she's, like, making the room as they're doing it, like, pulling beds out of storage, like, just with her mind. And it's just so fun. There's space werewolves, space vampires. Later, there's space chickens. It's just, it's fun, but it is still an amazing paranormal urban fantasy. The political intrigue, the mysteries, the plots, the battles. This is a great book to pick up when you just need a little something. Question number five asks, what is a book you wish you could buy or a book you could borrow from the library? I think that's what it means. Um, well, pretty much if I've wanted to buy a book these past few days, I've let myself, <laughs> which, case in point, um, these books are quite expensive, but I did it. I don't really regret it. They're beautiful. I don't know, there's a lot of books that I wish I could buy right now. Like, just looking at my list, I need to read The Bear and the Night Nightingale, Secret History, Starless Sea, Seven <laughs> Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, um, I do really want to read the Happy Ever After playlist. I just, it sounds so cute. 
alas. I really want to read Fire in You by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read it years ago, I've reviewed it, I'll link it in the description box. It's just been really sounding good to me lately that she's the main character's like a fangirl who mentions a lot of books that I like, like The Black Dagger Brotherhood and Childhood Friends, Office Romance, Damaged Heroine, you know, all just all the good stuff. I feel like such a tool saying that. Damaged Heroine. It's true. Give me that little bit of angst. Question number six asks me what if there's an author that I want to shout out during this time. Hi, TJ Clune. I really, really enjoyed your book. I really, really enjoyed your book. Please send me an arc of the fourth one. I want to know what happens right now. Hear the voice crack. That's true need. Ilana Andrews, seriously, one of my favorites. This is another book that I constantly reach for when I need a hug. I've read it 14 times now. Ignore the really shitty cover. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention C.G. Drews, also known as Kate at Paper Fury, one of my favorite bloggers. Um, a Thousand Perfect Notes was her debut novel. It was amazing, amazing, emotionally wrought. Oh. And then there's The Boy Who Steals Houses, which is a great pick for the reading rush, you know? The word house is on the cover. It's stunning. Another very emotional book. These both made me ugly cry. <laughs> like, a lot. The seventh and final question <laughs> is, what is your reading rush TBR? And for that, I'm going to direct you to my TBR video. Most of it's just me running around frantically trying to book, find a book with a house on the cover. I was only mildly successful. That's all that I have for you today from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I got to talk about Wolf Song by TJ Klune, which I really like. <laughs> I hope you are having a lovely time staying at home. It's hard. It's so hard. It is very hard. We're all getting through it together. I am very grateful for all of my online friends because, wow, honestly, I don't know what I'd do without you because you guys are awesome. So feel free to drop me a comment in the comments section. How are you doing? What are you reading? Are you reading? Do you need recommendations? I love tropes. Give me a trope, I'll recommend you a book. We're all getting through this together, remember? I've never done that before in my life. <laughs> Kate out. I got most of the way through it. I'm gonna count it. That's really all for now. Bye now.